I love being an uncle, man. I love it. But my nephew, he loves, he's little, he's in kindergarten. He loves going to the park. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a, a, like a new playground before. They suck. There is no danger at playgrounds anymore. None, except for an occasional dude in a white van. Big deal, really. <laughs> Who doesn't like candy, right? Like, <laughs> I used to run up to that guy, you going to eat candy today? <laughs> He'd be like, get out of here, fat so I'm looking at the skinny kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I see Jolly Ranchers in the bag. I just, just want a red one. If I, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> I think they make the rides too safe for the kids. That's what it is, right? Like, boys, we need to get hurt, or we're just gonna keep doing dumber and dumber things. <laughs> like, they're monkey bars. Monkey bars, five feet off the ground now. That's it. If they fall, they land in this corkboard, spongy, recycles. They don't even gotta climb them. They just walk with them. <laughs> I told my nephew, I was like, dude, when I was your age, those things were like 10 feet off the ground. If they'd be so rusted, you'd need a tetanus shot before you go up on them. There'd be holes where there was like bird's nest and there'd be a hornet's nest at the other end. And, and if you fell, what'd you land in? You had, you had asphalt? Oh my God. How, how, your school must have hated you guys. Would you just have an extra parking lot? They're like, put it up, put them up. We don't care if they get hurt. We had gravel, which I thought was bad or broken glass or cigarette butts from the teachers. <laughs> Get up, you little wussy, you know? <laughs> they got rid of rides too. If you go to a brand new park, you'll never see these ever again. And I'm looking at the second row and I bet these kids probably never. How old are you, darling, right here? You're 11 years old? Oh, you probably don't even know what a merry-go-round is. <laughs> they got rid of them. And I, was, I was like, oh, how are we gonna figure out which kids are gonna grow up to be alcoholics then, right? <laughs> the same feeling. You, you get on it, hope some big kid's around to get it spinning so fast that you fly off and hit your neck on a horseshoe pit steak and <laughs> stand up, throw up all over yourself. This is the best ride ever. <laughs> now I was a little chubby kid, so they always made me sit in the center, right? Or else it'd be like an off-balance wash load going around. Just... They got rid of the seesaw, which I don't care. I, I never got to see anything. <laughs> I don't know why you're not coming down. <laughs> just, <laughs> just catapult the kid the other way. They got rid of this ride too, and I know you'll never know what I'm even talking about. And it was huge when we were kids. I don't know what they called it, but it was always like a cartoon character or a horse, and you'd get up on its back, and then it'd have this like industrial strength spring coming out of it. So you did this when you were riding there, just. <laughs> right? But I was a chubby kid, so I just did this and be like. <laughs> My back's touching the ground. I just let go and the thing would shoot forward and take my nuggets with it. My chicken nuggets. Now their slides are made out of plastic. When we were little, they were made out of that hot molten lava metal. Been baking out in the sun all morning. So, hey, let the kids out to play. You're like, no. You go down this thing, you got shards of butt flap hanging off of you. Just looks like a CSI crime scene. Right? They still make this slide. You got this slide, darling? A little twirly one. That one's fun. Yeah, if you're skinny, that's a good time. 
But if you're a Chubster, you can get some speed going on those skates. And they don't make them with like high banks or railings or anything to hold on to. So you got like half the butt cheek hanging off the whole right. Thinking you're about to fly out of this thing any moment. And then whoever designs that slide, that guy's a jerk, man, because they start out wide and comfy, but when you get to the bottom, they just narrow into these tight little crevices. It's like a fat kid cow catcher right at the end. Just... <laughs> Kids up top, they can't see us, so they're coming down, kicking you in the bag. You, you got scoliosis before you get off of this thing. And the kids were mean to me because I was a chubby kid. So they'd be whipping those red dodgeballs at me. They see I'm stuck. I'm eating a sandwich. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I love sandwiches. It's, it's my favorite, right? If you're single and you make me a sandwich, I'll be yours forever. I love them. Does anybody else love sandwiches? I'm not the only one, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, I love when girls say, what's your favorite? Number one, favorite sandwich. Chick chicken salad. Okay, that's a little gross, but yeah. Yeah. That's not even a top five for me. What did you clap to, bro? What's your, what's your favorite? Uh, BLT. BLT? Nah, that might make top five. Nice job. Nice. What's the matter? Cheese. Oh, that's a big dude, too. Holy cow. All right, whatever you say. We're not going to fight you on this. Sound like he had some in his mouth while he said it. Those are good ones. I like that one too, buddy. I know it. I love, I love it, man. My favorite are um, ice cream sandwiches. 